Hi, everybody. I'm Sharon Roger with your 7 o'clock update here on CBS13.com. Here's what we're working on. pg and &E is trying to explain why they didn't cut power to Butte County before the campfire started. In a nutshell, the agency says they thought the winds were decreasing that fateful morning. In its report to state regulators, the utility giant says the winds did not meet their criteria for a mandatory power shutdown but they didn't go into much detail. pg and &E had warned some 70,000 customers in the Butte County area two days prior to the firestorm that power may be shut off, something the agency had done in the past in other areas of Northern California. To this now, areas of Butte County are under a flash flood watch tonight. The watch starts tonight at 10 o'clock in the areas affected by the campfire. The flood watch means flash flooding is possible depending on the amount of rain. Officials say residents should be ready to evacuate if they're near a waterway downstream from affected areas. The watch lasts until 10 a.m. tomorrow. The National Park Service has closed down parts of Yosemite Park. Tioga and Glacier Point roads will be closed for the winter season because of several storm systems that have moved through the park over the past two weeks. Park officials say drivers should be prepared for the winter driving conditions and possible delays. Check back at CBS13.com and watch the CBS 13 News at 10 for the very latest.